by World News. Mexico City at this hour. Now, days after that earthquake and the cheers erupting at a factory that came down during the earthquake. ABC's Matt Gutman in Mexico City with the moment that another person was found alive. Tonight in Mexico City, amidst the flattened buildings, there are spikes of hope. <laughs> cheers erupting at this flattened factory where overnight another person was found alive. Those rescues dangerous as we saw firsthand. Debris crashing down around us. Oh, watch it, watch it, watch it. Moments later, officials clearing the scene, fearing another building collapse. We joined the LA County Fire Search and Rescue Team at this pancaked office building. The fire Rescue Team says that those six stories collapsed so densely that there's no void space, and the concern is that nobody could have survived that. And just yards from the rubble, under these tarps, the families of the dozen or so missing prayed. It was after those prayers that we met Fabiola. Her brother, Angel Sandoval, is in that building. She showed us around the improvised tent where the families have been living for the past four days. They're all there, cousins, siblings, friends. And then that call for silencio, silence. <laughs> okay, so now they call for silence because that's when they try to listen to something in the rubble. These are the moments of hope in a place like this. She told us that they need to show strength, but after four days, even iron will can snap. She says her brother is very strong. <laughs> and everywhere, solidarity for Mexico. On the rubble of this building, a salute to the Mexican national anthem. And Matt Gutman with us again tonight from Mexico City, the scene of that apartment building. And Matt, you're hearing they're now bringing in a crane to lift up sections of the building. That's right, David. That crane is going to begin lifting layers of that building where you see that swarm of rescuers, which is a sign that this could turn from a rescue operation to a recovery operation. Now, for days, we've been asking Mexican officials for a list of the missing, but in the scope of this devastation, they say they still don't have one. David. Matt Gutman, who's been on the scene for us all week, Matt.